What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Buzz Boys. And today I have devastating news. Cody Martin has entered the health and safety protocols right before the tip off to the Suns game, maybe about an hour beforehand. Rob Boone comes with the news now. Cody has entered the protocols. Devastating. Devastating because another bad news. Devin Booker is making his return tonight. He's been out for the last seven games. He's coming back tonight against us. And now we're without our best defender in Cody Martin. Damn. You feel me? Double whammy. It's like a double whammy. Damn. Um, now, also, I wanted to do a video, on, but I just didn't have the time, on LaMelo's return. Um, LaMelo is back. Glad that he's back. Um... You know, we knew that he was coming back. You know, he's with the Greensboro Swarm. He did the same thing that uh, McDaniels and Plumlee did, you know, go to Greensboro. or well, not really Greensboro because they were in Charlotte the whole time because we were on the road. So they were in Charlotte the whole time. Then I died, went to the facility and got his, you know, got his stuff back up. And, uh, yeah, came came back, had a good game against Portland um, in limited minutes. He didn't play that much. Had a good game against Portland. And uh, we almost came back. We almost came back. Um and that has something to do with Ish Smith and a couple of guys off the bench that really got us going. PJ started making his threes and, you know, guys started making shots that they were missing in the first half. And that really is what led to us coming back. Now, obviously, we shouldn't have gave up as many points as we did in the first half. That's really what lost us the game. Being down 30, you cut it all the way down to five or six. If you weren't down 30, that run would have won the game. You would have been up by 10, 15 if you weren't down 30. Because you had go on a run like that, you're supposed to be winning. But anyway, I digress. The reason I didn't make the video on that was because like the game ended at like 12, 15, 12, 30. It was super late. I was exhausted, went straight to sleep afterwards. And then I just kind of forgot about it the next day. You know, just kind of forgot. But glad to have LaMelo back. But it's like we get, you know, Terry's back. All the guys are back from that initial cluster. But now it's like Cody Martin's out and you know, we kind of got to watch it now because it's like, will there be another domino effect? Tomorrow, will we come out and see that somebody else has it? Now, God forbid, obviously that's not what we want. But as we can kind of see with this COVID thing, if everybody's vaccinated, everybody's, you know what I'm saying, together and separated from, you know, everybody else is like, how are guys just a single case of COVID? How are guys getting a single case of COVID? That's why a lot of these teams are getting decimated so badly. The Bulls, a lot of teams, there's been three or four games that have been postponed tonight. I saw the Nuggets game got postponed. I'm trying to think of the other games. There's three games that got postponed today, though. And it's like you see why. You know, it's not like just one person gets COVID and then they're out. No, it seems like when one person gets it, three people get it, five people get it, you know? I mean, like, they're all around each other. How how are we supposed to practice, but you got COVID today? So what, you didn't have COVID yesterday when we were at practice together? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it gets bad like that, bro. And it's like, obviously, like I said, you don't want to see anybody go into the protocols, especially with us just getting our guys back. But it's like... Now we're kind of on pins and needles because, like, okay, who else? Because I, I just don't believe that it's just going to be Cody and then everything's going to be fine for the next 10 days. No, I feel like somebody else is going to have that shit, which I really don't. But it's like, damn. So on top of that, Devin Booker makes his return. We got a tough road trip coming up. I mean, we're already on the road, but we have tough. Bro, we got the Suns, the Jazz, the Nuggets. That's our next three. Fuck. Okay, like, fuck, bro. Oh, God. Um, I really wanted to come with some type of better news. Like, I, you know, I should have did the LaMelo video a few days ago. That way I could have something positive to talk about. But you get blown out in Portland. Then this, right before the Suns game, it's just like, damn. Oh, and one thing I want to cover, um, Borrego just said in his pregame conference that he might use Ish to replace Cody's minutes. And uh, a lot of people on Twitter are hating that. 
Um, Rod Boone reported that as well. Rod Boone, an excellent report. Shout out to Rod Boone if this somehow reaches you in any way, shape, or form. Um, shout out to Rod Boone, man. But, you know, so a lot of people were up there talking shit about Ish. And here's the thing. I have no personal problem with Ish. I've watched Ish destroy the Hornets for years. I have no problem with Ish playing. But to me, Ish and Cody's minutes shouldn't have nothing to do with each other because they don't play the same position. Ish is a small-ass guard, small-ass point guard. Cody Martin, 6'5", 6'6", plays a 2, plays a 3, can switch everything. That's not Ish. I don't understand how Cody going out is, okay, Ish, it's your time to shine. We have LaMelo and Terry. What the fuck is Ish going to do out there with those guys? He's small. No, get Book in there. Not like Book is some type of lockdown defender, but he, okay, he's 6'5". He can score. He just had 24, not even a week ago. Maybe a week ago at this point, I don't know, but you, you get the point. So, I don't know, but then, you know, Rod said Book could also be a candidate. Um, it's not a video of Borrego talking, so I can't see what he said verbatim, but, uh, you know, and then somebody put that Ish Smith averages uh, 12 points and 5 assists against the Suns and Rod was kind of like to, to the people in my mentions with the pitchfork so people on his ass about that and he just reporting bro he just said what, what Borrego said it's like you know he had anything to do with it but um you know I have no problem with Ish but it's just kind of personally it's like that has nothing to do with Cody in my, in my eyes and Ish you know he came in and he played that good little that good little stint against Portland. But I mean, he had a couple layups and like a couple good defensive possessions, like maybe two good defensive possessions, two good layups. That's all that I saw. It's not like he was really like just out here going too crazy. It really was people started making their threes. Ubre made some threes, um, PJ made some threes, and that's what got us back into it for real. Ish had two layups, and that's really all I remember. So I don't want Brago to just try to go all in on Ish and fuck up because that's what happened last night. Gordon comes off his 40-point game and Brago says, um, we're going to try to keep the hot hand going with Gordon and try to, you know, ride Gordon. And and he went out and played like shit. Gordon had eight points. He was two for eight, you know, 25% from the field. I think he was like 0 for three from three. And, um, yeah, he played like shit. So, he played, like, 18 minutes. He, he like, uh, he was benched for almost the whole second half. Him and Terry basically did not play the whole second half in that Trailblazers game. And, yeah, you know, I'm, I really am just now kind of thinking about it because I didn't get a chance to cover it. Yeah, I think Terry played, like, 23 minutes. I think Gordon played, like, 18 minutes. This is off just the top of my head. I'm not quite sure. But, um, that, that Trailblazers game was ugly. And it really was, and... The thing was, I respect Borrego for holding people accountable. If people are playing like shit, don't play them. If they're playing like shit, don't play them. Gordon's out there not doing shit. ISOing and acting a fool. Bitch his ass. Terry out there not playing defense and he missing shots. Bitch his ass. I respect that. I respect that. And that's really what I feel like the Hornets been missing is that type of accountability. Because some people, it's like they bulletproof on this team. When they're not playing well, they still playing 30, 35 minutes. No, if you're playing like shit, sit your ass down for the rest of the game. <laughs> I don't care. You feel me? So that's what I want to see. And, I mean, I don't have no problem with Ish getting his goal tonight. You know what I'm saying? Ish can, you know, show what he can do. If he plays good, great. Keep him in. But I, I want to see book night, bro. Martin is out. Book night is the answer, bro. The same way Terry's out. Book night. Kelly Oubre's out book night. If any of our guards are out, book night is playing. That should be a no-brainer. Like, bro, what the fuck? Unless we're talking about the straight-up point guard position, because I don't know if book can play the point. He did okay. He did okay, you know, ball handling and stuff um, in his 24-point game. So, I mean, I wouldn't be too opposed to that. But, like, I understand if you want Ish to take over the point guard role. But let book do his thing at the two, bro. For real. Come on, bro. He's 6'5". What is Ish finna do at the 2? Come on, bro. Because Terry's still gonna be out there. Now, obviously, I guess you could play Ish at the 1 and Terry at the 2. I don't know. We'll see what he does. But play book, bro. Play book. You feel me? Son's playing their book. You play our book. And let's see what the fuck happens. Um, now, obviously, 
defense, we're going to see how it goes tonight. We still have, you know, everybody else. And the Hornets are still a big team that can switch everything, even without Cody Martin. Everybody out there is 6'5 plus. Almost everybody on our team is 6'5 plus, except for Ish and, and Terry. Terry Rozier is 6'3". Um, everybody else is like 6'5 plus. So we can still switch everything. And, and kind of keep our same defensive principles. It's just don't let the sun start hitting them threes. Don't give up a, a lot of corner threes because we know that's what we like to do. Give up corner threes. Don't give them no corner threes. And, I mean, try not to let Aiden go for 40 and 20. <laughs> try, not let the, try not to let DeAndre Aiden go for 40 and 20. Okay? That's all we can do. I mean, Plumlee's back, so I don't know really what to say about that, but it's not like... I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to say because I don't believe in Pumley. <laughs> but it's not like, you feel me, eight and should go for 40 and shit with, with eight. I mean, with uh, Plumley guarding him. Plumley is seven foot. Even if you got to foul that nigga eight and bro, don't let him dominate you. Don't let him push you around. I think there's been a lot of things where we just don't have a true center with that true seven foot size that can really battle with bigs. P.J. Washington is like 6'6", six, six, bro. Miles at small ball five, come on, bro. So that shit like that, of course we're going to get dominated by these seven-footers. So with Plumlee in there, okay, at least he can try to hold his own and not get embarrassed and give up 30 and 20 or 40 and 20. And that's all we can ask for, okay? Try to keep CP3 and uh, Booker under control and try to make somebody like Cam Johnson or Cameron Payne beat you. If, you know, Cam Johnson goes off for a bunch of threes, hey, it is what it is. You take that. But don't let the big guys beat you, bro. Like, that's that's really kind of has to be our principle right now, especially with our Martin at the perimeter. Don't let them dominate inside and outside. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, man. We're getting closer to tip off. Um, I really hate, I really hate that that news had to get announced about Cody, bro, but just simply because we need him. You know, he, he's somebody that can switch everything. Let me see if the starting lineups have been announced yet. I mean, I'm sure the starting lineup is going to be the same, but just because I'm up here recording with y'all, let me go ahead and show. Um, yeah, and yeah, Cody Martin is out. We still haven't announced our starting lineup, and the game starts, and my phone is blocking the, the time, so I can't even see what time it is. But Miles Bridges had a quote. We have to go out and play hard all the time like we did when we didn't have our players. If we play hard like that, the sky's the limit for us. We just have to get back to playing Hornets basketball, playing hard, getting out in transition, and having fun. That's a quote from Miles Bridges before the game. So he's kind of looking at the way I'm looking at it, bro. Look, we were, we were just without plenty of guys. So we'll be okay. We're, you know, we were just out without six people, seven people. Now it's just one. Everybody has to step up. Everybody has to do their job. Play defense. Get out of transition. Hit your threes. Have some fun out there. Like he said, man. Play hard. I love that quote. It was a perfect quote. Perfect quote. Because it's like, you've been through this before with guys out with COVID. So, if anything, we should be really able to sustain ourselves. You know, we've been through it. But, yeah, our, our, our defense, our defense is going to be sus. <laughs> I just thought somebody said we are going to give up 200 tonight. <laughs> We're not giving up 200, but, you know, it, it could get ugly. It could get ugly. But really, shit, if they start scoring, nigga, we got to keep scoring. That's really, like, as long as we score along with teams, bro, we're straight. We're number one in scoring. We're number one in points given up. So, like, if you give up a lot of points, bro, at the end of the day, you kind of got to live with that because that's the norm. You just got to keep on pace and, and score and win. If the final score is 130 to 129, you get, hey, you, you get the fucking win. Do you want to give up a whole lot of points to the opposing team? No. But at the end of the day, if your offense is doing what it needs to do, you're going to win regardless. So we're the number one team in points. Let's be the number one team in points. Let's not come out and have a 20-point first quarter and do shit like that that shoots us in the foot so we got to play catch up. That's how we're going to win this game. Come out and score the ball. We're not going to win this game with our defense, okay? We're not. You got to score. You got to win. Probably going to have to put up 120 plus tonight to get a W. It's the Suns. And they're at home. So that's just what it is. I'm going to catch up with y'all after the game, man. Peace.